Premier Soccer League presents the Netbank Cup. Now, having a little pounce on the uh, back foot, the early ball in, Norbo looks to get onto the end of it. Flag has stayed down on that far side. That's a promising situation now. Is that a penalty? Man down, play allowed to continue! And that's bring it home! Click, click, bang, yeah! Shangwe, it is! Doing it again in the Netbank Cup, this time for Vitz! What did we say? You dominate possession, you don't score? You're gonna get punished. What did we see? They were beginning to get their groove bit as vets that is. And I mentioned the more they pin the ball into the box, they are likely to punish Orlando Pirates. And did they? Yes, they did. And who did? It's this man, Sean where that did the damage. Because they were not convincing. You look at this long ball, played into the box. And look at Pirates defending here non-existence and guess who is there calvin cardi he shows composure calls for a penalty because they still were in advantage they conjured something that got them the goal that they needed business first calvin cardi that was a penalty for me but the referee was near the action as well but he allowed play to go on and did they not profit from that and yes they did boy did they sean went with a click click me what man down that's one up a man who made a name for himself as a teenager in the net bank cup without now Manesa and behind that defense after the defender committed himself the cut back Erasmus took a deflection Pirates not to be divided tonight it's Pirates one but best but one Kermit Erasmus comes through well, he's most important goal of the season. We anticipated this sort of pressure in the second half. We did mention that uh, the first 15 minutes, that's going to be very crucial. But I want us to unpack it in, in terms of composure, the positioning from this man. Kemet Erasmus, that is. Because when the ball broke on the left-hand side, I just want you to watch his positioning. Because when he positioned himself, he was busy making up his mind. He scored that goal, it is a vital one. Because that's been his strength, the positioning. Look at this combination play, look at the ball, not convincingly clear, but look at Kemi Transmash. He peels off, the defenders are ball watching, but he's made up his mind. The technique was right, it takes a deflection. It's Opa Manyeza who looks up and he finds his man. The decision was made already. I'm not even too convinced that the goalkeeper could have saved it even if it wasn't a deflection because it was going to be even quicker but it is a super goal from Pirates they needed to respond and they have courtesy of this man Kemet Erasmus a former Javanan player now on the other side of the fence now the enemy now was there a foul then Paris player and grab the leads squeezing it in on the near post merely a gentleman a true gentleman refuses to celebrate against his former side those that usually have the color black close to their hearts now behind the team in red that is Orlando Pirates are loving this at the Moses Mabida Stadium character shown by a side that's been so close and yet so far, on so many occasions this season, they really are close to that goal now, Brian Martin. You know what suicide is, eh? That is suicide from Bitvers Vets. You can tell from the face of the coach. Look at this play here. You would think they have it all under control. Look at this comedy of error. Doesn't look convincing. Look at this ball. Played here, you would have thought, okay. There was a bit of a foul, you would claim of a collision between Fiso Miene, but that top hole made a huge difference. It doesn't matter how they come, but it counts. But there was a bit of a collision somewhere. But Pirates celebrate. And yes, it, it is a comeback. And now there's a bit of a dance thing happening. These players are fit. Also will go over to Kemeti Rasmus, this time looks for the teammate, Mayesa gets nothing but ah! 
but Erasmus gets it there. Get in. Two goal cushion. Parrots sitting pretty. What did I say about the discipline of not conceding the third goal? Because that will put you under pressure. It will result in this sort of dances because they are seeing it's gold note, not the silver way, but the gold. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, but this is what we're talking about because at Brisbane threat you'd want to attack and not concede because you're searching for that equalizer. But this young man has been in fine form, he showed his intentions first few minutes of the match, and he's gotten that goal that vital goal that gets them closer to that trophy. Giona, it's a throw in from Matama, it's a combination with Ketowake Masuku, deft touches. Second time around, he gets it right. He had passed the ball, aimed at Opa Manisa, missed it completely, and Kemet Rasmus followed with that run. That's a striker's goal. Pounced on it. No chance for slam cut. Celebration for this man. Senzo Mehiwa. Don't call it a comeback. Pirates. Chasing the game at the midway point of 90. Come out and have scored three with the wrestlers grabbing himself a brace. The elite in South African football. After getting close to the top in the MTN8 Cup. After coming close to the top in the Talcom knockout. Lando Paris came close to the top in the 2014 Netbank Cup. They looked as though they were stumbling and would fall off the cliff when they conceded first. But... They responded with three goals, win it by three goals to one, and that's all. 14 Net Bank Cup champions. I'm up by them here, Orlando Pirates, sitting on top of the Net Bank Cup world. The Premier Soccer League presents the Net Bank Cup. An absolute showstopper at the Dobsonville Stadium. Well, we spoke about this man right at the beginning of the game that uh, he's hit some form under this man, Tito Musimani, and uh, he's enjoying.